Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. Now, you may have noticed I have a little addition with me today. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys, doing like a little bit of a life update video and a little bit of a vlog as well. Um, but we got a new puppy. <laughs> so this is our puppy. He is eight weeks old. Um, his name is Rafi and he is an Irish doodle. So he is a cross between a Irish setter and a poodle. Um, and we've literally had him for like three days and I already don't know how I live without him. He's honestly the cutest little thing. Um, oh, he's just adorable. He's really well behaved as well. He settles in his crate by himself. Um, I feel like we've kind of cracked the um, potty training. He's had a couple of accidents, but not that many. Do you want to say hello, Rafi? You go a bit closer and say hello. Hey, hey. <laughs> you look very cute. You look very cute. Hey. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much what I've been doing for the last couple of days. I haven't been able to get any work done whatsoever because this little pup just needs constant monitoring because he's chewing everything. Um, I even found him chewing a radiator pipe the other day. So that would not have been good. Um, but yeah, hopefully <laughs> I'll be able to like get some more work done and stuff soon. But yeah, I wanted to hop on here and do a vlog for you guys and um, show you some little bits that are sort of updated around the house because I had loads of messages from people um, wanting to see some home updates. And yeah, I had loads of messages from people wanting to see some home updates. So yeah, I thought I would show you a little bit of that. I mean, the house is still absolutely full of boxes everywhere at the moment, which is really annoying. Um, I mean, it looks a mess. I've only just put the Christmas decorations down. Um, yeah, there's just, there's a lot. We have a skip outside with like loads of rubbish in and stuff like that. I mean, the painter and decorator hasn't finished in the kitchen yet. Um, so yeah, there is quite a lot to be done. Um, but I will show you the little updates and I think I'm going to try and sort of stir on my dressing room a little bit better um, with you guys um, sort of in the next couple of days. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a little weekly vlog really. Um, so today we have been, well, mostly just looking after Rafi. I've been doing some work because Sam is home. Oh, I think he wants to get down. Are you going to get down? Oh, no, you're going to lie down. Um, I've been doing some work um, and the kitchen guy has been here fixing the kitchen. We're hopefully getting that painted soon maybe next week um, and yeah I think we're just gonna chill cook some dinner that sort of thing but I am also going to pop in here some videos of when we first got Rafi so um, just like his first few days um, oh you tired <laughs> um, yeah his first few days and stuff because some of them are quite cute and quite funny so I will put them in now and then come back and chat to you <laughs> <laughs> oh you done a skin <laughs> <laughs> oh, hope you enjoyed that little montage of his first few days he's honestly just so cute i love him so much um but yes can you say let's get on with the video can you say subscribe to my channel <laughs> Yay! 
gonna say hi. You gonna say hi to my subscribers? Is that? Is that? Is that? So I am just about to cook some dinner. So I am going to do tacos. I think, well I've bought wraps and I've bought tacos, so I might do visas, might do tacos, I'm gonna see how I feel. Okay, I think I'm gonna put <coughs> you there. Brilliant. Oh, okay. Okay. established it's really hard to cook vlog and look after a puppy at the same time <laughs> so i didn't really vlog any of me cooking that meal but i mean everybody knows how to make the it's pretty straightforward um just finishing it off now and we'll serve up this little one has been sat there like a good boy the whole time we've been cooking just okay. chilling no not you <laughs> So we have our fajita mix, a bit unconventional for added spinach, got some homemade guacamole, got some padron peppers, some nachos, mm -mm -mm. you're just going to chill there while we eat aren't you? Just finished dinner and I just remembered I need to put our sheets in the tumble dryer because they're not going to be dry. sofa with my little man sorry if you don't like dogs then I feel like you're probably not gonna like this video that much because <laughs> it's just all about him isn't it it's all about you it's all about you anyway so yeah I just sat down on the sofa because I'm gonna do a little bit of work I want to write some blog posts um but I don't really know what I want to write them about I just feel really in like the writing mood so if you guys have any suggestions for what you'd like to see on my blog um do let me know i know that people don't really really um read blog posts that much anymore but i really enjoy writing so yeah i just thought i'll do a couple i've just written one about how i plan my trips like my trips away and stuff because i get quite a lot of questions about them um because i've sort of done like a step-by-step -step guide of like what i tend to do when i'm planning a trip or you know thinking about going away somewhere hey little man oh Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, you better not be biting, mister. So yeah, um, like I said, do let me down know down below. If you're, ah, ah, excuse me, we don't bite. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you have any ideas. Um, we are just gonna sit down. We've just started How to Get Away with Murder, which is quite good actually. Um, but it's nowhere near as good as you on Netflix. I don't know if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, obviously I'm not going to ruin it. But go and watch it, like, now. It is just brilliant. Like, I loved it. Um, I would say you kind of maybe do need to watch, um, series one. But it's not that many episodes, so it shouldn't take you too long. Um, but series two is way better than series one. Um, so, yeah, if you're watching series one and you're not mad on it, keep going. Because series two is so much better. And it's so interesting and like really creepy but like not like like i get quite scared by things like luther for example um if you've never seen that it's like a crime detective show with idris elba and who i absolutely love but um yeah i get quite scared of stuff like that because i think it's so real but this is like this obviously is real and obviously things like that do happen but i don't know maybe because it's american i'm like <laughs> i don't feel scared by it i don't know i don't think it's overly scary it's just a little bit like it's just a little bit twisted um but 
yeah i would definitely recommend watching it we also just finished watching sorry this has just turned into a um i don't know like series chat but we also just finished watching don't fuck with cats which is so weird and twisted and creepy and horrible but also very fascinating um it's on netflix as well you're right there mate I don't know what you, where, where you're off to. Um, it's on Netflix as well. So, yeah, I would recommend watching that too, but be aware, like, it isn't for the faint-hearted. It is very creepy. It's a true story. Um, and also, if you like cats, then it's probably... You're right. It's probably, um, yeah, a bit distressing. But it is really, really interesting. So, yeah, anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, we're just starting um, How to Get Away with Murder... He like always does this, like he'll cuddle up to me for a bit and then he'll go and sleep on his own. I don't know if he gets a bit hot or maybe he gets annoyed when I'm like constantly stroking him. He's like happier on his own. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. <laughs> so, so cute. He's playing right. up for the camera. <laughs> Just chilling with the boys. Sorry, you've got a view of Raffi's private parts there. Raffi's there. Who's that? <gasps> Raffi, look, who's that? Mm. You've had enough. I'm leaving and you can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> He's really good at getting off the sofa, but he can't get on the sofa. Oh, no, he did like a wheelie. Where's he going? Nowhere. Taking his way. Has yeah. he had a poo since dinner? Yeah. Yeah. He's not allowed over there. Excuse me! Oh, he's actually sleeping on the rug. On top? On top of the rug. Do you know what? Leave him though, because he needs to learn to sleep on his own. Is there anything worse than coming to bed at like 11 o'clock and not having your bed made? when I miss living at home with my mom. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm in bed. Um, Rafi didn't go down as easily tonight as he normally does. Like, normally he's so tired and he kind of just, like, walks into his crate himself. But, um, yeah, he didn't tonight, which was a bit weird. So, I don't know if that means we're going to have, like, a bit of a bad night with him. Normally, he'll wake up at, like, 1am crying. Um, and then, like, the first couple nights I went down... Not when he was crying, like after he'd stopped, I went down and let him out for a wee and he just didn't go to the toilet. So now when he's been crying at like 2am or something, um, we just left him, which literally breaks my heart. It really does. But if you go down to them, then they just get used to like the fact that crying makes you come down. So yeah. Um, so it's horrible though. I hate it. I always feel so sad. He sounds really sad, but he's not sad. He just wants your attention, you know. Um, he's fine. So yeah, fingers crossed. We have an alright night tonight. Um, I wonder how long like it lasts. Like, <clears throat> like them crying in the crane and stuff. I don't know whether something that goes on quite a long time or what. I mean, I know like quite a lot of people have like their dogs in their beds with them or even in their bedroom but like that's fine if you want to do that but I just didn't really want to do that to be honest um I wanted him to be in his own crate and like that be his space and um like this be our space if you know what I mean 
Anyway, I'm rambling on and it's really irrelevant if you don't have a dog or don't care. Um, so, yeah, you alright? Um, I'm going to go to sleep now and I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys. Sorry I look a little bit rough because it's 6am and you can probably hear him crying. So, I'm down to get him. Um, well, let him out for a wee and stuff. So, yeah. Hey Rafta. Hey, hey, hey. I know, I know. I know. Hey, chill. Hey, little boy. I know. Yeah, okay. Come on, let's go out. Come on. Come on. <laughs> when you take him out for a wee and he wants to play, please do a wee. Rafi, come on. Get busy. <laughs> I know, it's cold out here, but you need to do a wee. long day it's like 5 p.m. and I feel like I've been awake for like 48 hours um, Rafi has been a bit of a nightmare today he's just like I don't know he's just been so difficult like he won't play with anything he just wants to constantly like bite you and stuff and he's barely slept today too but we've just given him a water bottle with some treats inside it out of all the things that we bought <laughs> And he was so confused at first, but now he's got the hang of it. He's just so going to carry it around. How are you going to get your treats out then, mate? <laughs> Honestly, I wish I had done this earlier. I asked you guys on Instagram what I should do because I was honestly just going out of my mind. <laughs> and if only I could have done this so much earlier. Like this will keep him entertained for ages. Yeah, so, as I said, I haven't really done anything today because he's been such a nightmare. Like, and also we've had um, the builders here because they're still finishing off in the kitchen. Um, and there's been like loads of little bits of wood everywhere because they're doing like beading. Um, and he keeps getting hold of it. So I've had to keep him in the lounge. Um, and it just means I haven't been able to go anywhere. So I've done nothing today, but Sam's home now. Um, oh, I think he's really got the hang of that. Anyway, yeah, Sam's home now, so I've just um, put a casserole in the oven, so I started cooking that, um, and I think I'm going to go upstairs and sort out my dressing room, like I said I was going to, because I need to do it, although I'd love to have a nap right now. Oh, a little rough. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Okay, so this is the current situation here, so it's not too bad. Um, just obviously need to put away all of this stuff here. Um, this is the rug from downstairs. We decided to bring it up here because basically Rafi keeps peeing on it, so yeah, um, obviously something about it that he likes. Uh, also, I want to show you these that I got. These are, I appreciate they're going to be a very love-hate item, but they are Doc Martens. Um, and I wear my Docs all the time, like literally constantly. And I saw these on Instagram on quite a like, few different bloggers and stuff. And I just really like them. They're the Jaden High Tops. They're quite expensive. I think they're around 150 But, um, yeah, I really, really liked them. I've worn them once already. And, yeah, I mean, they are going to hurt to break in. I can tell because they are pretty hard. But I thought they were really cool. So, yeah, I'll link them down below if you are interested. Um, it was Rosie Connolly that inspired me to wear these. So you can check her out on Instagram if you want to see, like, looks and stuff and then yeah hopefully I will be wearing them in some pictures soon anyway let's get cracking on this so I can remove this rug put this one down I might put this one in a spare room maybe um so yeah <laughs>
some thoughts about this area here. Um, obviously I have a dressing table here, um, but basically, long story short, I haven't got an office space anymore in this house, so I'm planning on having my office space in here as well. So, oh God, I'm really out of breath. <sighs> Just ran up the stairs. So what I wanted to do um, is in this little alcove by the wardrobe and the cupboard um, is have um, both my dressing table and my desk, but it doesn't fit to have the both of them. So um, I've decided I'm going to sell this dressing table um, or maybe put it somewhere, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with it yet. <laughs> um, but I've bought a dining table from Ikea, just a cheap one because um, I didn't want to spend a fortune on it but it's one that fits the space perfectly and then because it'll be nice and long I'll be able to have like almost space for two chairs although I won't have two chairs I'll probably just have one big one um so that I can like move to the right hand side and work on my desk and my um computer and then I can move to the left when I'm like getting ready and stuff I don't know we'll see how we go that's why I wanted to get just get like a cheap Ikea um what am I saying, dining table. I looked for a desk that was that long, but the longest they had was 200 and the space here was 190, really annoyingly, otherwise it would have been perfect, but never mind. We'll give it a go. So that's gonna come on Sunday. So I will show you guys that when it's up um, and see. The only issue is there won't be any storage, but I've bought some of the little Ikea Alex drawers to put like underneath the table. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna get like a standing mirror and then I'll put my MacBook up there. And yeah, it should work out okay. I might put a shelf up there as well. That'd be quite nice. Like with some little, you know, cute bits and bobs. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I don't want it to look too cluttered, especially if there's gonna be a, like a computer and a mirror. So obviously I need to tidy up all of this as well. Um, but compared to what the room was looking like before, I mean, at least the uh, floor's cleared. However, if I take you out here, uh oh, it's a bit, uh, out there which isn't ideal but oh well you know you win some you lose some i'm going to sort that out later um but yeah so i think i'm going to sign off um for tonight i'm going to change this light as well because i just don't think it's working in the room it was from dunelm it was super super affordable um so i might just put it like away just in case i need it in the future or i don't know what i'm going to do with it like it is a nice light i just don't think i don't know like i just don't think it goes in the room i think i need something a little bit bigger uh, or maybe something a little bit softer um but yeah so we've just put Rafi to bed hopefully tomorrow morning he'll be a little bit better behaved we had a couple of accidents today which um is really unlike him like normally he's been really good at toilet training he's been like going and sitting at the door and when he needs a wee but today he weed in the house three times even though i take him out like every half an hour but anyway i think that dog drinks too much um, <laughs> but yeah so i will catch up with you guys probably in the morning my dad's actually coming down to stay this weekend um and he hasn't seen the house or anything yet um the reason he's not coming with my mum is because we have quite an old dog at home and um someone needs to stay and look after it so yeah they're taking it in turns to come see me so um yeah my dad is coming up to see me which will be fun um so yeah, I don't really know what we're going to get up to. Um, I really wish Rafi was old enough to go out for a walk. I'd love to go out for a walk, but he's not yet. He's still got another four weeks until he has all his jabs. So, yeah, but anyway, there we are. Right, I'm going to sign off now because I am absolutely exhausted. Honestly, so shattered. Um, and I will catch you guys tomorrow at some point. Sorry, this vlog today has been a bit rubbish. I've just been all over the place. So, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, so it is Sunday morning and I've got a little man sleeping next to me, I mean what a Sunday morning, just chilling on the sofa, cooked um, some scrambled eggs and avocado earlier, chilling on the sofa, watching TV with this little guy, just chilling, Sam's next to me as well but he's the important one. <laughs> um, so yeah, sorry I didn't vlog yesterday, um, I didn't really do anything other than just stay in and look after little Raffi, so I thought I'd vlog today instead. My Ikea furniture should be arriving today, so I should be able to sort my office space out a little bit. Um, I also might go to an antiques fair that is near here, potentially, I don't know, I, it started quite a while ago though, so I'm thinking like everything good has probably gone by now, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about doing that, and yeah, just a general day really. I'm going to take some, well, I'm going to take a photo later of my outfit. Well, you're going to take a photo. Oh, brilliant. 
<laughs> um, so yeah, nothing too exciting really. He is literally being the cutest little thing. We've had a couple of accidents, but he is getting there with the toilet training, I think. Can't wait to be able to take him out. I just want to go out for like a big, nice walk, but um, obviously not too big because you're not allowed to take puppies out on too long walks because they get tired. Um, there goes that work. Oh, brilliant. Um, so yeah, I also get loads of questions on this dressing gown. So it is from Tesco, if you're wondering. God, I look a mess. Um, but yeah, so like I said, we're gonna go out for a roast dinner as well later on, which will be nice. Oh, he's having like a dream. I don't know if you can see. Look, <laughs> he's like moving around. <laughs> I love that he sleeps like this. It's so cute. Hello. So, it is a little bit later now. I haven't really vlogged all day because we went for lunch with our friends. So, I didn't really want to get my camera out then. But, this is the more important and exciting part. My IKEA furniture has arrived, which is super exciting. So, Sam just took upstairs for me. Um, God, I'm out of breath. And I didn't even do any lifting. Well, I did a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to open this all up and start building. It should be quite easy because it's just a table. I think I just need to put the legs on. Um, but then I have to build the drawers, the Alex drawers. And if anyone's ever built Alex drawers before, you'll know that they're really, really hard. So I'm going to pop you over here and do a little time lapse. So this is what the area looks like now. Okay, just so you can get an idea. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I'm feeling a bit deflated. We just put this like in the space it needs to go and it just looks ridiculous. Like it literally comes out so far. I didn't even really think it would, well I knew the measurements, but I don't know. I just didn't really picture it like this. Um, I think, oh, I don't know what to do. It literally needs to be like half the width, like literally like that. But I searched and searched and searched everywhere online and nowhere had something that would fit. Um, and was the right width and stuff, so I'm not sure what to do. Good morning everyone. So it is, um, God, I don't even know what day we're on. I think it's Tuesday. Um, uh, is it Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. Anyway, and it is another day now from when I built the Ikea furniture and showed you that. Basically that was just a bit of a disaster. <gasps> so I unbuilt it, packaged it all up and stuff, and it's currently in my hallway. I need to take it back to Ikea. Um, so yeah, that didn't really go to plan, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. So, um, what I've now done instead, I think is, is that my doorbell? No. What I've done instead is order a console table because the gap where I want it to go is like quite narrow. Um, so I've ordered a console table with some drawers in it, like a really long one. Um, it's actually, it's kind of like a green color. So I need to paint it. It's a little bit ridiculous, but I just couldn't find one that fitted that gap. So We'll see how that goes. That's not coming for another two weeks, so I won't be able to show you that in this vlog, obviously, but I will show you when I get it. Um, but yeah, I also wanted to apologise for how crap this vlog has been. I'm just like really aware that I've done absolutely nothing in this vlog, um, and I haven't even left the house, nor put any makeup on, anything like that. I stupidly decided to vlog on the week when we get a new puppy, and oh my god, it has been so hard. Like. I'm just exhausted. I don't have a second to myself. He's probably ripping the whole lounge part downstairs. Hopefully he's not. I left him asleep, so. I just feel like I just have to constantly be watching him. Can't really go out for that long. Um, and I mean, I haven't done makeup in like a whole week and I just feel really gross. You know, when you just feel horrible in yourself, this just wasn't really the start 
of the year that I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be like a really productive start to the new year where I got loads of shit done and I felt my best and I was going to the gym and like all of that sort of stuff. Um, but that hasn't happened. So just feel a bit like deflated about that, which I shouldn't be complaining about because I have this beautiful, sorry, the camera cut me off there. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I shouldn't be complaining because I have this beautiful, gorgeous little puppy, which I absolutely adore. Um, but it has been hard and I just, yeah, haven't managed to get much work done at all. And yeah, I'm just feeling a bit behind. So for anybody else that is feeling like their 2020 new year didn't get off to like the most productive, amazing start that they wanted it to, I feel you, yeah, I'm the same. Um, and I think there's a lot of pressure around new year to have this like amazing new year where like you have all these goals and you've got to smash them. And like, I think it's perfectly fine and understandable if that doesn't quite happen. So anyway, um, I am just sort of pottering around the house again today. Um, not really doing anything too exciting, we do some washing, all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I have some workmen in again, which also has been kind of like stressful trying to obviously look after this puppy and have workmen in. It's probably like quite silly, really, because I know it probably unsettles him a little bit as well. Um, he's fine, actually. He's really, really good with them. Like, he doesn't really phase him, but I'd know like it probably would be better not to have them. But I had them already booked in um, and you know what it's like, like, oh, like this house needs to get finished. So um, yeah, that's probably not been the best idea. But yeah, because I've had workmen in as well, I've not really been able to just vlog me at home. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey little one, I'm right here. Oh, he's just waking up, he's just waking up. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Should we go to the toilet? Do you want to go out? <laughs> you want to go out? Do you want to go for a wee? Do you want to go for a wee? <laughs> oh, you are just so cute. I love you. <laughs> this has been one of the hardest things about having a puppy is having to uh, Make sure he's not doing any accidents. House training him, basically. Come on. First thing is, is he doesn't like it out here, and he goes and sits by the back door until I let him back in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm about to try and attempt to teach him to sit. So this probably isn't gonna go very well. I mean, I don't know if he's a bit young, but we'll try. Buffy? Buffy, come here. Sit. Buffy, sit. No, no. Sit. Sit, good boy. Well done, I think you're kind of getting it. Sit. <gasps> Good boy! Good boy, well done! Good boy! I'm gonna leave it for a bit and then try him again a bit later, see if he still does it. Okay, now I think he thinks he has to sit constantly and then he'll get a treat. Is that what you think?
Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? You're actually ready to do that? No, I reckon. It's only going to be as well, obviously. I think I can. Yeah. Right, Jesus. Ready? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Three. Okay, wait, I need a break. Thanks, get it for today. Um, this is an antique one. It's from uh, a company called Rough Old Glass. Pretty expensive, but really cool. You can see it's like quite worn. I don't think that's gonna stay like that, Sam. No, no, I'm just... I absolutely love it. It looks so cool. Sorry, please ignore the music in the background. Um, but yeah, really, really like that. Love how you can see the reflection of the light as well. The light is from M&S. Also, that's meant to be there. It's like an antique kind of feel. <laughs> Just plated up dinner. So we have some uh, oven roasted salmon and then roast veg. I know that doesn't actually look that nice, but I put loads of lemon on the salmon and stuff. So yeah, it should be really nice. We also have these beautiful flowers. Um, I was gonna talk to you guys about it. Um, my mum for my birthday a while ago signed me up for a company called Freddie's Flowers. They're amazing. They send a um, box of flowers every week and they're absolutely gorgeous. Oh, actually no, I get them every two weeks because these last for ages. I literally just threw my ones away that I had at Christmas time. Um, so they literally last so long. I mean, that's like almost a month, three weeks. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. They look really nice on the table. Ignore all of this that still hasn't been decorated yet. But yeah, gonna uh, have dinner now and talk to Good you in Good morning, guys. So it is Wednesday morning today and I am dressed, showered, done my makeup, just filmed a video, smash in the morning. Um, so yeah. Um, I have just unpacked some bits from an order I did with Topshop and H&M and I wanted to show you these shoes. Look at them, they're so cool. They're like a dupe for the Bottega ones. I think they're amazing. Um, so I got them in the camel and the white, I don't know if I'm gonna keep both, I'm gonna try them on. Um, but I plan to wear the white with some jeans and like a shirt. Um, and then I didn't really know what I was doing with these, but I just loved them. So <laughs> I want to show you that. Um, I will obviously be filming like a haul and stuff with this. So I will show you that at a later date. But yeah, I have to show you these now. Also, look at this bag that like kind of matches with the shoes. Actually, it's a bit of a different color. But again, very Bottega vibes. Oh, it's so nice. How much was it? £25. I think they did some black too. But yeah, I think that's so cool. Love that. It's like a crossbody one with a long strap. Or you could wear it as a clutch maybe on an evening. Really nice. Please ignore the stuff around me. Um, but I thought I would show you one of the outfits that I just got from Topshop. Um, love this kind of like oversized cardigan. It's so comfy and cosy. And then I have these high-waisted jeans on which have like a slit in the bottom of them. They're kind of like a flare. I think they're quite cool. Um, and then I have the shoes on that I just showed you. So yeah. This is quite a cool outfit. I'm going out for dinner tonight, so I might wear it there, actually. So we just came out for food at um, Ultringham Market. Um, and we were going to wander around the market, but unfortunately it's closed, so we're going to go back anyway, because I don't want to leave the dog for too long. Um, but yeah, I lo love Ultra Market food. I always, always, always come here. So, oh wow, look at those chairs. I mean, um, but yeah. So yeah, then we're gonna go back to the little pub. Just realised I didn't tell you my outfit today. So, got Ray-Ban sunglasses on. This T-shirt is from And Other Stories. This <laughs> this blazer is Zara. It's like a leather, faux leather blazer. This coat is Zara. My jeans and my boots are Zara. Oh, great time to start drilling. Um, yeah, so full Zara outfit. <laughs> Literally couldn't find my camera all day today. <laughs> so after we went out for lunch, I came back and I couldn't find it anywhere. I've just found it now. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't really vlogged anything, but I've literally just been tidying up, so nothing too exciting. Um, 
but i'm gonna finish this vlog here because it's been a really weird kind of all over the place vlog um and i think now's the time to end it <laughs> um but i will pick up another vlog very soon i also have some more videos coming to my channel also very soon um so yeah keep watching for that and yeah sorry it was a bit weird and all over the place but hope you kind of enjoyed it anyway so yeah i will catch you guys in my next video bye